coming up dual color prints and I was using Kira stay tuned Chris Sergeant Taz here. Today I'm going to go over how to do a dual color printing. As you can see, I made a bracelet with the thin blue line, which I'm very fond of. And I have a few more sitting over there in front of my new printer, which I will get to in the next video, not this one. So what I'm going to want to show you is how instead of having to sit there and wait and watch while you're printing to make sure you get your layer where you want it, you can set up in Cura ahead of time to do filament changes in PostScript G-Code. So I'll walk through in the next section here, probably right about now, I was doing the thin blue line ones. So in the next few sessions, you'll see how it turns out. But what I did was I did the math on how many layers I had. I know I wanted to do two filament changes. So what you wanna do is go into the extensions area, go to post processing and hit modify G-Code. Here's where you're gonna add the scripts for your filament change. You have a couple things you can do. You can pause at height, you don't, do the change at Z, display file name and layer, you don't care about any of that stuff. What you want is filament change. So filament change, and then you tell what layer you want it to do. So I know from doing this bracelet already, I want my first filament change to be at 41. The retraction, I left at 30. The layer distance at 300 millimeters so that pulls out to 300 millimeters of filament that's in your Bowden tube you can adjust this for whatever machine you're using I'm doing this on the uh, on the Ender 3 Pro mostly I'm actually up on my new artillery one because I'm just using it as a demo but you get the idea you can retract as little or as much as you need to and it adds the script so I know I wanted one at that level so the next one, because I want it to be in the middle, I'm going to add another another filament change. My other filament change I know is at 82. So I add that. Okay. So it'll I'll put the little icon down here, let you know you have some code that changes it. You can actually look at it by hitting the little tools, a little button on the bottom here. It shows you what you did. So now you know you have two filament changes. So one at 41 and the next one at 82. So what's going to happen is you're going to go and more or less set this up in your printer. Either you're going to save it in your file or you set it right to the, directly to Octoprint. So what's, what's going to happen is, is when you get to the layers, so when I hit 41, it's going to give me a filament change there. And then at 82, it'll give me a filament change there. And then at 91, it will be the finish. So you do, I'll do two filament changes for the thin line through it. So it doesn't matter where you put it, just as long as you figure out where you want your color change to be you can actually look up what layer you want it at set that layer in these settings here you can set your retra retraction and you can set your distance retraction of how much filament you want like, removed out of the out of the Bowden tube or if you have a direct drive you obviously can be less so keep that in mind and then double check your other layer like I said if you want to do two layers you can add as many of these as you want and then you can put them in any order you want more or less as long as you're keeping track of what layers you're putting the color changes on so I'll show that in the next video or so about and show you how I did it I'll do a little quick overview it's it's pretty simple to do a quick change especially on the ender 3 
and the 3 Pro style printer. Not hard. Um, but like I said, it's, it's a really easy way to do a filament change without having to sit there and watch it. So I'll show you what happens when it actually gets to the layer point, like when I'm, I'm going to show you on Cura here. When I get to 41, my printer actually stops printing, puts the carriage off to the side, away from the print, and removes the filament. Only bad part is you have to wait a few minutes, so hopefully you don't have layer -ish sticking issues. But other than that, works out great. As you can see in, 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 in the later reference, you can see how, how good the, the quality is. Um, what will happen is it'll, it'll eject the filament out, at least enough for you to get it out fa fairly fast. I pull that out, get my next set of filament ready, put it through the Bowden tube, set it up into the, into the feeder, then you click the button and it will bring it all back up, heat up the temperature. You can extrude a little bit of filament to clear out the nozzle for the previous color and then you can print it and I'll try and show you that in the next clip or so you can see it's pretty simple to do and it makes it a hell of a lot easier than trying to wait or time it to figure out where your layer heights at and then do your filament swap this way you're not having the nozzle sit on top of your project melting whatever plastic you have going on and putting little spots in your prints um, I did it when I did this one here I didn't use my code so it's really hard to see but you can see where I got a little bit of a blob. That's for me just waiting to see where it was at. It's much easier using the code. Um, plus it extrudes the filament already for you. It pulls it back out of the out of the tube and gives you a starting point instead of having to try and spin up all your filament and it keeps it nice and neat. So hopefully this will help for, for help uh, Hopefully this was helpful to you. I'm going to leave that in cuz it's funny. And you got something out of this. Um, remember, give me a like and a subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Happy printing. See ya.